All right, so the name of the class here is Be Sober, Be Faithful, right? Uh, give me, start. let's start out with uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, start at nine. Start at nine. verse 9. Mm -hmm. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. So we know in part, so we prophesy in part. We teach what we know, read on. But when that which is perfect is come. When Christ come. Then that which is in part shall be done away. He did come one time already. And, and a lot of things that we didn't understand, we now understand. So the old understanding has been done away with, right? Read on. When I was a child, I spake as a child. So the, the topic is um, knowing in part, right? So now it's, it's being uh, compared to being a child. Say, when I was a child, I spake as a child. Read. I understood as a child. That's the underline right there. I understood as a child going into your understanding. Read. I thought as a child. I thought like a child. Read on. But when I became a man. When I became a man, when Christ came, retaught us. Read. I put away childish things. The old understanding is done away with. Now I understand first and foremost that I don't have to give a sacrifice in the temple. Right. Uh, Christ is the new. Uh, he's the last sacrifice. Now I understand that uh, I can't sin willfully under Christ. I have to repent. Right. And if I sin willfully, it's no more Christ for me. Right. I understand that. So um, I put away childish things. Read on. For now we see through a glass darkly. So uh, a dark glass is it's kind of hazy. It's kind of hard to see through it. It's not HD. It's not high definition. Read. But then. Face to face. But when Christ come back, face to face, read. Now I know in part. Uh-huh. I, uh, I know in part now, but when Christ come back, read. But then shall I know even as also I am known. So just when he come back, we'll know everything. We'll know everything without a, a shadow of a doubt. There'll be no differences, no no difference of a, a, a understanding at all, right? With that being said, when I was... um. A born again Christian, I believed that it was a sin to drink. A, a, a dead again, uh, not even a, a dead Christian. again Christian. I was a dead again uh, church <laughs> congregant. <laughs> right, right. But I believed it was a. I thought it was a sin to gamble. I thought it was a sin to cuss. I thought it was a sin to drink. Right. And sometimes I would, I would, I didn't have to, but sometimes I would refrain myself from doing these things, but would freely eat pork because I'd never been taught that that was an actual sin, right? I broke the Sabbath every Saturday. I'd never been taught that was a sin, right? But, but today's topic, we want to clear up um, alcohol usage. Alcohol usage, because I'm pretty sure you, uh, you may come to a new moon. Uh, you come to a high holy day, and um, you may see a bottle of wine floating around. You may see a bottle of Crown Victoria. Uh, Crown, Crown Victoria. Victoria. That's a Crown. Crown, <laughs> Crown, Crown Royal, Royal. Uh, floating around. <laughs> right? You might see that. Um, of Hennessy. And with an with a old understanding, you might be like, man, these guys is kind of going off. What are they doing? Why are they drinking? Why are they doing that? Um, let, let's get into it. Let's go to um, Ciroc 19 and, and 2. Let's start there. So we can put away the childish uh, things, the old understanding. Let's get a let's get a solid understanding on um, what's going on, what's lawful, what's not lawful, how to use it, what is for, right? Read what you got. Ecclesiastes chapter nineteen, verse two. Uh huh. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. Now here go the warning. Wine and women. Make men of understanding fall away. Understanding is somebody to have uh, knowledge and understanding in the laws. Mm. You know the laws. You've been exercising it. You've been on flyer missions. You know what this stuff means. But guess what? If you're not careful, the warning is here. Wine and women will make you even fall away, even though you got an immense understanding. Now, today, we're not talking about women. We're talking about wine. Read it again. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. Uh-huh. And he that cleaveth to harlots will become impudent. So those two things are very dangerous for even a wise man. Even a wise man, is that's very dangerous for. Right? That's That was uh, one of King Solomon's deals, was the women. What you think they was doing? Wine and women. They was partying. He had all the women he could, he, he could have. Mm -hmm. and, and even with his, nobody had a, a greater understanding than him, and even it made him go up. 
Wine and women, he's trying to tell you, right? So uh, go to Deuteronomy 14 and 26. Hey, hey Jude, before you, t- before you leave there, can I touch yeah. on that? Yes, sir. Uh, Sirach 19 and 1. Start at verse 1. Sirach 19 and verse 1. Read. Mm-hmm. Sirach chapter 19, verse 1. Uh-huh. A laboring man that is given to drunkenness. So a laboring man that drinks too much, given to drunkenness, right? Meaning he's drinking till he's drunk. Read. Shall not be rich. Meaning you you shall not, you're not going to be able to keep any money in your pocket because guess what? You drinking too much. Every time you get a dollar, you want to drink. I'm going to buy a beer. I'm going to buy a bottle. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. Read. And he that contemneth small things shall fall by little and little. So the word contemneth, right? Uh, I have it right here. The feeling that a person or a thing is beneath consideration worthlessness deserving scorn right so read that one more time okay read that one more time Sirach chapter 19 verse 1 uh-huh La- a laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich because you're gonna be always spending your money on on, on what you want if you're drunk if you're a drunk that's what you're gonna spend your money on right read and he that contemneth small things it, he that he that um, hold things beneath consideration, right? You condemn the small things. The small things is what matter, right? The reason why a drunken man would condemn the small things is because guess what? Now your standards start to lower because you're a drunkard. When you get high, your standards start to lower because you a because you you a, a weed head or a crackhead. Now your standards aren't the same because you drinking too much. Now you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not standing by uh, the values of the laws no more. Now, when we get into verse two, read. And he that contendeth small things shall fall by little and little. Now you're going to fall little by little by little, meaning your values are going to lessen and lessen and lessen. Read. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. Meaning you drinking too much wine, guess what? You're going to go after any harlot that you see. And that's what it's saying in the scripture. I don't know if you're going to go there next, but that's what it's saying in the scripture, right? That, uh, matter of fact, can I go there real quick, Jew? Yeah, get it. Let me get that in, in Proverbs chapter 23. It says, wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. And I'm going to finish it out. It says, and he that cleaveth to harlots will become impudent. Will become impudent. Mean he's going to have, uh, he's going to be disrespectful. That's what impudent means. Go ahead, read that. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 30. Uh-huh. They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine. So if you tarry and long at the wine, meaning you're drinking to get drunk. You don't know when to say no, right? Read on. No. Verse 31. Mm-hmm. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red. Uh-huh. When it giveth his color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. Right. So those are people that drink a lot. They know what color the wine's supposed to be. They know how it's supposed to move. And all those things like you know when a person drinks a little bit too much, when they know a lot about the wine and they, look, the scriptures say, look not upon the uh, wine when, it's, when it is red up in his cup and when it give it this color up in his cup and when it move it itself aright, read on. At the last, it biteth like a serpent. Because you drink too much and then it bites you like a serpent, right? It sneaks up on you. It strikes you when you don't even know it. Um, jump down to verse 33. Verse 33. Uh-huh. Thine eyes shall behold strange women. And then when you get drunk, your eyes go behold strange women. Now you think the, the woman that that you wouldn't even touch in the corner at the club, now you going home with her. That's why it says wine and women shall call a man of shall cause a man of understanding to fall away. Right? Read on. And thy heart shall utter perverse things. And you're gonna utter perverse things, right? You're gonna uh, utter the thing, the secret things in your head that you probably wouldn't have said because you had uh, high values and standards that you probably wouldn't even have said those things. But now you're saying those things because you're drunk. Go ahead, Drew. That's all I Let want me to say something. I want to take a step back right quick because um, Judah, he asked a question um, and the answer was just verbally given. I want to uh, get the scripture on it right quick. Go to... Um, 
Sirach 31 and verse 27. Because he asked if you could drink. So let's find out. Let's see what the scriptures say. Book of Sirach, chapter 31 and 27. Read. Wine is as good as life to a man. The scriptures say wine is just as good as a life to a man. Why? Because it was made for you to feel good. It was made for you to, to, uh, to take the edge off, not to get drunk. Watch. It's going to say that. If it be drunk moderately. You see, it's there for your good if it's drank in moderation, meaning you not overdoing it. Go ahead. What life is then to a man that is without wine? He said, what, what type of life you live in and you ain't sipping nothing? <laughs> That's what it's saying. What, what type of life do you have? You hella boring. You hella weird. This here is it's made for laughter. It's made for you to feel good. It's made for you to be merry, not made for you to overindulge in it and be sloppy all over the place. Read. For it was made to make men glad. You see that? It was made to make us glad. It was made for us to uh to 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 feel good around each other. It's, it's not it's not absolutely needed uh when we're to be around each other, but what I'm saying is it, you can't drink it. Go to Ephesians 5:18. Book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 18. And be not drunk with wine, mm -hmm. wherein in excess. He said, you drunk with wine when you uh, excessively drinking it. He said, don't be drunk in excess, meaning excessively drinking the wine. Go ahead. But be filled with the Spirit. But be filled with the Spirit of God. Being filled with the Spirit of God. When you filled with the Spirit of God and you got wine or strong drink in your hand, you're going to know when to stop. You're going to know when your limit is coming. You're going to know, all right, um... Let me not take this third shot because it could give the impression that I'm drunk. Go to um, Ezra, I think I want. I think I want. I think I got it. First Ezra chapter three. Why, why does it tell us not to drink? Uh, wine and access because you lose all sense of everything. You lose all senses of everything. And the scripture going to read it to you. Go to First Ezra chapter 3 and I believe it's verse 18. The book of First Ezra chapter 3 verse 18. 17. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, declare unto us your mind concerning the writings. Mm -hmm. Then began the first who had spoken of the st strength of wine. The one who had spoken of the strength of wine, the strength of strong drink, the strength of drinking with access. Come on. And he said thus, O ye men, how exceeding strong is wine. Mm -hmm. It causeth all men to err that drink it. He said it causes all men to err that drink it. Everybody that uses it in access, it causes them to err. Why? Because it puts you in the midst of sin. Because the scriptures say, uh, it's good for you if it's drank moderately. Go ahead. It maketh the mind of the king and of the fatherless child to be all one. Meaning they thinking the same. Meaning a child is going to do what do and say whatever that f comes into his mind first. And a drunk king will too. That's like right. Michael was just bringing out. That's you right. going to bring out your secrets. You going to bring out stuff that you ain't that you ain't supposed to be speaking. Stuff that you, how you really feel about people. Go Stuff ahead. you wouldn't normally say. Right. Come on. Of the bondmen and of the freemen. Yeah, because you get to getting all sloppy and dirty. Now, you a rich man. Now, you look like a peasant, a poor bum. Both of y'all got the same mindset. That's what it's going into. Like, you don't care about nothing. Just like the bum don't care about nothing, a drunk king ain't going to care about jack. Go ahead. Of the poor man and of the rich. Come on. It turneth also every thought into jollity. So it says it turns every thought into a laughing matter. We here we is having uh, uh, serious conversations about how we go. On, how, what's the next move for our body? And this brother up in here yeah. laughing at everything because you didn't drunk too much. He ain't had. He ain't had one too many drinks, and now now uh, brother so and so falling on his face is funny to him now. Instead of coming up with a solution, he keep on playing around. He play around with everything when he when he uh looking 
what to say at the bottom of the cup <laughs> when you know what the color of the wine is. Right. The way it moveth in the cup. Go ahead. It turneth also every thought into jollity and mirth. Yeah, you laughing at everything, joking and laughing at everything. When it's time to be serious, you a, a dummy. Go ahead. I'm about to say something else. Go so ahead. that a man remembereth neither sorrow nor debt. He said, when in the midst of you drinking, you don't remember no sorrow. You don't remember no debt. You don't remember not a damn thing. Because you, everything is funny to you. You just, everything goes out the window. The seriousness is gone. Come on. And it maketh every heart rich, so that a man remembereth neither king nor uh -huh. governor. See, you don't even remember the king. You don't know who the leader of the congregation is. No more you, respect for leadership. No, no more, more respect, respect for leadership. <laughs> no, everything goes out the window. Yeah. When you when you tarry long at the wine, come on. And it maketh to speak all things by talent. You see, it make you speak all things. Every, the little stuff that you was holding in to yourself, you blurting it out on accident. <laughs> the stuff that you was you you was the battling the in stuff, your mind, man. <laughs> you telling brothers uh, how how your fantasies is like what? Well, nobody want to hear that. Nobody cares, bro. But it don't yeah, the midget. You know what I'm talking about. Like, what 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 are you talking about, bro? I, we don't care about that. It, it don't only affect your thoughts; it affects your actions too. Because from your thoughts comes your action. Now, mm -hmm. uh, you might do some. You might you might do something on a brother flow. Mm. Here it comes. It, it's it's about to tell it's you about, about the actions. Come. It's about to tell you about the actions. Read on. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. And when they are in their cups. Is it when you in your cup, when you deep down in your cup and you done had four or five drinks. I ain't talking about shots. I'm talking about half a cups. Like some in this right here. Right. Half a cups. You on your fifth or sixth one. Come on. And when they are in their cups, they forget their love both to friends and brethren. <laughs> now you, re you forget your love to everybody. You forget how to keep the commandments. Everything goes left field. Go ahead. And a little after. And a little after that, a little after you forget about your brother, your family, the leadership, your mind is gone. Mm. Draw out swords. You ready to fight. You chunk. Wow. You ready to hey, get you down. You gonna fight wow. your boy. <laughs> you ready to get down. You like, <laughs> <laughs> brother don't even know what the hell you said, but you ready to get it on. Wait, you know what's so crazy? You done, seen, <laughs> you done seen the craziest things when people get drunk. You done seen the craziest thing. You done seen women pissing in the street. Yeah. Brothers pissing in the hallway. Can't walk in their heels. <laughs> Man. Man. Can't walk in their heels falling. <laughs> face plant. RT, get nah. some, get some uh, videos of people face planting off drink. Re uh, um, get the video. Get the clip from House Party when they put bro in the dough. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Watch all of the stuff that he be saying. He don't even remember nothing. Pull, pull. Why you pulling that up? Read verse twenty two again. Verse twenty two. Mm -hmm. And when they are in their cups, when they deep down in that thing, they forget their love both to friends uh -huh. and brethren. They forget everybody. How to keep the commandments? They forget love thy neighbor as you love yourself. And and they mad about something that happened to them in the world. <laughs> Go that, ahead. That that's your standard. That's your standards being lowered yeah. because because you 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 drunk. Now you don't now you don't hold those 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 those, those same standards that you uh, learn from the laws of God. Now your standards go like this. Now you don't love your brother no more. Now you're trying to get at his wife. Now you you know all kind of stuff. Well, let, let's ahead. finish this. You found a video. Play the video. Oh, well, let me finish this and then we gonna prove it. Watch this. Pull this up. Yo, man, your liver gonna shrivel up like a prune. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Make it big. We can't see it. We can't it. see Make it. Make it big over here. <laughs> Come on, First man. thing he told him, man, your liver gonna shrivel like a prune. Go ahead. Pull it back. You got nice stuff in your crib and no sense to be messing with my mother's shit. Look what he's drinking. Old English. I done seen so many people get down off of that and get beat up. Kid, come on, man. Come on, some of this. Nah, 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 man. Yo, yo, you better slow down yourself, man. That monkey oil is gonna mess you up good. I tried to tell him, man. Kid, you my man, 50 grand and all, but I'm telling you, be going out on the sauce if you're not down with this. This stuff here, we should. 
I forgot to tell y'all about the. Uh, hey, but look, the that go word. right along with what we was talking about, right? Yo, pause, pause it, pause, pause it right quick, pause it. That go right along with what we was talking about. It says wine and women. It go hand in hand. So, so it go hand in hand. So when you when you drink too much, guess what you want to do? You want any woman you can get right now. He said it make yo hard. Yeah. You 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 in you in the uh, thing looking at uh something nice and after you get that old English you looking at Big Bertha right Big Bertha gonna hurt you go ahead right. read I mean play the video <laughs> yo do that dance stuff you was doing out there on the dance floor I've been trying to get that oh here night, it come no 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 I really don't feel like yo it. come on man no no I'm really not in the mood I'm not in the mood all right then no, don't do it then I'm learning my own wait a minute wait a minute. Don't give up so easy. I'll teach you. I knew you wouldn't go out on me like that. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. Yo, come on, man. Oh, now, here it comes. This is very complicated. He can't even move. Look at him. What are you doing? This ain't a rope class. You can't do it. Is that a job? I think it is. You better come on out here. Oh. Come on, man. You got to get through it. Come on. Here we go. Why? Let, 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 him, uh, let him fall out right quick. Watch the old English about the kid. Here it comes. Right. The standard was all the way lower. He was right. getting with it. As soon as that thing kicked in, he didn't have too much. He done he fell over. He that ain't look. even the part that I want, but we ain't going to spend a lot of time on this. Right. I wanted the part where he was taking him home and he was just all that gibberish he was saying before they put him in the door. <laughs> it made him forget everything was the point that I wanted out of that, but that ain't, it didn't get it. So read verse 23 again. Verse 22. And when they are in their cups, mm -hmm. they forget their love both to friends uh, and brethren. Read. And a little after, draw out swords. They're ready to thump. Come on. But when they are from the wine, mm -hmm. they remember not what they have done. You see that? But when they're from the wine and they come down and they sober, they don't even know that they got punched out the night before. Man, like, what happened? What? So it feel like I got hit by a brick. Got a knot right here? Like you got hit by a brick. <laughs> it's you and, like you, that last You scripture. and Tay was fighting last night. <laughs> what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go. Let me get something with that. Get, uh, go back to Proverbs chapter 23. <laughs> Go ahead. Proverbs chapter three, 23. I think give me the last verse. I think that's crazy. You do all of this. You cuss people out. You t call them MNFs. You call them bands. And then the next day after you done got beat up, you don't remember nothing. Man, this is when your wife cuss you out, too. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you if you got a drinking woman, that ain't no good. That ain't no good. <laughs> Start at verse 33. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 33. Thine eyes shall behold strange women. And thine heart shall utter perverse things. So your heart, gonna, your heart going to utter perverse things, right? Your heart going to utter perverse things, things you wouldn't normally say to somebody else, right? Go ahead. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea. <laughs> if you lay down in the midst of the sea, you're going to be... You're going to be wobbling and swaying everywhere. You can't hold your feet. You can't hold your balance. Read. Or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. Read. They have stricken me. Shall thou say. So when you wake up, right, from that drink, you're going to say, they have stricken me. Somebody hit me. Somebody <laughs> beat me up. <laughs> I, got, I got hit with a brick. Read on. And I was not sick. And I wasn't sick. <laughs> I wasn't drunk. <laughs> Read on. They have beaten me, and I felt it not. Man, they beat me up. I ain't feel this last night. Where, where this lump come from? <laughs> I got a black eye. What's going on? Read on. When shall I awake? Uh-huh. I will seek it yet again. And those kind of people, they go seek the wine yet again. And that and 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 that's and that's and that's oh my, that's that's a that's a mind state that 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 can really cause a brother to lose himself, right? That's why it says wine and women shall call a cause a man of understanding to fall away. You can get lost in that. Go ahead. Brother go to sleep normal and wake up looking like Popeye, huh? <laughs> One eye closed like 
Hey, but, <laughs> hey, but um, the, we had a sister that said uh, she. Let, she let's put, finish this, and I'm going oh, right oh, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The first twenty three again. Yeah, we gonna finish this. I'm already at the scripture. Where I'm? Where you at? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, go ahead. So, rock chapter thirty one, <laughs> verse twenty three again. We in chapter 30? 18, no, three. Uh, we in second Ezra's one. Second Ezra's two, uh, and, chapter uh, 23. Chapter three, chapter three. I'm sorry. Second Ezra's chapter three. One of verse 23. All right. Second Ezra chapter three, verse <laughs> 23. Verse yeah, 20. Oh, first Ezra's. First, first Ezra's. Ezra's. I'm sorry. First Ezra's chapter three, verse 23. But when they are fall, when they are from the wine. When they are from the wine and then came down. They remember not. They what, didn't remember none of the perverse things they were saying. They what, don't remember what they was doing. They remember not what they have done. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, ye men, is not wine the strongest that enforces to do thus? You say wine is the strongest thing because it, 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 it forces you to do things that you normally wouldn't do or say things that you normally wouldn't say. You, go ahead. And when he had so spoken, he held his peace. Yeah, everybody shut up. They're like, he right. Cause that wine had me uh, lusting last night. That wine had me, uh, had me questioning my faith last night. Mm. That strong drink had me questioning if I really wanted to be in this truth. Now it's making me think, thinking that I want to be back in the world again because I miss clubbing. Mm. I miss I miss side showing. I miss uh, 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 whoremongering, drunk parties, and whatever else y'all was doing. We was doing up under the sun. I'm uh, you, you smoke. I mean, uh, you get so drunk now, all of a sudden, you want to smoke a cigarette again we was or some there. weed. Yeah, we was all there. You got to watch it now for the sister, um, that had her thumbs down about the strong drink. Give me a uh, Deuteronomy chapter 14 and read verse 25 and 26. Yep. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 25. Then shalt thou turn it into money uh -huh. and bind up the money in thine hand. What is this talking about? This is talking about the tithe. Well, you can go back up and read it for yourself, but turning what into money is the tithe. So whatever the Lord, I have us traveling. He'll have us traveling. If it was too far for you to travel, to, to carry a goat or just to read, walk a... Just read 22 and then jump down. All right, yeah, that's cool. Deuteronomy so chapter 14, verse 22. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed mm -hmm. that the field bringeth forth year by year. Go ahead. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. Okay, jump down to 24. Verse 24. And if the way be too long for the, thee. And if the way be too long, what? The, the, uh, the, the journey to get to wherever you going from, wherever you came from. Go ahead. So that thou art not able to carry it. You ain't able to carry it the whole journey from Egypt to, to Jerusalem or from, from uh, 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 Babylon. Babylon to Jerusalem. Go ahead. Or if the place be too far from thee, which uh -huh. the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there when the Lord thy God have blessed thee. Come on. Then shalt thou turn it into money. Turn that same thing, that gift that, or that, uh, sacrifice the animal or the wheat or the gift that you was going to give you or the offering, you change that into money. Go ahead. And bind up the money in thine hand uh -huh. and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Read. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusts is after. You, you going to spend that money on whatever your soul want to give. Go ahead. For oxen. For oxen. Or for sheep. Or for sheep. Or for wine. Or for what? Or for wine. Come on. Or for a strong drink. Or for strong drink. Uh-oh. Ooh, uh -oh. y'all know how heavy Or for strong now, time drink. time out, though. Here we go. Here go the problem. If drinking was your problem in the world, just because it's lawful, do you think you should do it? Give me uh, Ooh, that's a 1 great Corinthians point. 6 and 12. So, so to make it plain, right, we offered, we offered the first of everything to the Lord. Strong drink was an offering of tithes to the Lord. That's right. So it couldn't have been a sin to drink it. It couldn't have been. But go ahead. Give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 12. But that's why I tell you to do it in moderation. Go ahead. You right. got it, Dave? So, so somebody, yes, uh, somebody will take this, right? I may have a gambling habit, okay? And if gambling is my thing, 
just because it's not unlawful, that don't mean I should do it because gambling is a trigger to my um to my uh my covetousness, right? And now I'm going into debt gambling. I'm hurting my household because that's my thing. Same thing with alcohol. It's not unlawful to do, but if that's your hang up, uh like like for me for instance, I had a cigarette habit. And every time I drunk a beer, I had to have a cigarette. It enhanced it. They go together like peanut butter and jelly, right? So when I was trying to quit, if I drink, it's a wrap for me. I'm going to get a pack of cigarettes, right? So in order to stop smoking cigarettes, I also had to stop drinking even though it was lawful, right? Now read what you got. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. All things are lawful unto me. All things are lawful for me. Ain't no law against it, right? Read. But all things are not expedient. That don't mean it's good to do, though. It's not expedient. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I say, um, if, if, if gambling and you lose your money make you angry, that could make you fight your brother. Y'all cheating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can get out the spirit. So if you know yourself, you know yourself, you examine yourself, know you not your own self. If that's your thing, you don't do that. You don't do that. You don't, you don't put, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to drink if if alcoholism is my problem. You get what I'm saying? So all things are lawful, but they're not all expedient. Read it again. All things are lawful unto me, uh -huh. but all things are not expedient. Uh -huh. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Uh huh. So you can be brought under the power of whatever your, um, I like to call it your thing, because everybody got a different thing, right? Not everybody's heart lusts after the same thing. And and they and the the alcohol is not unlawful, but it can lead you into promiscuity. It can lead you to lay your hands on your brother suddenly. And these are things we uh, that we reading about. So now you got to know how to use it, right? Uh, go to First Peter five and eight. Book of First Peter, chapter five, verse eight. Uh huh. Be sober. So the, the scriptures tell you to be sober. Read. Be vigilant. Uh huh. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So guess what? Um, when you when you are drinking your alcohol, right? You drinking your wine. Uh, if you're not experienced in it, you having a good time. Let's say this wine tastes very good. That'll make you drink two or three cups. It tastes like juice. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if you're not respecting it, you're not giving it time to sit. You're not waiting. You know what I'm saying? You're not being patient with it. And you're just drinking it. And that's when it sneak up on you. It bites you like a snake. And then you, all of a sudden, you are, you're doing all these, um, uh, all these things that's not, um, what's the word? Expedient. Not expedient. Because you over drunk. You get what I'm saying? So it's say, be sober. Uh, when you when you uh smoke weed, are you sober? Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. So this scripture goes for weed too. It say be sober, be sober. You can't smoke weed. That's you right. can't do mushrooms. You can't do ecstasy. Those things are th those things take over your body, and you are not sober, right? So the scripture tell you to be sober. Before you move from there, I'm glad that you brought out the uh, all things are righteous unto me, but not all expedient. Because a brother or a sister that may have that that uh, alcohol problem or alcohol, what do you call it, alcoholism, or, or you might be a wino, and just because it's lawful to drink, the first thing when you wake up after brushing your teeth is you taking a shot. Just because drinking is lawful don't mean the most high gives us guidelines on when and when not to drink. That's that's heavy because uh one 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 of the signs of an alcoholic is when you wake up in the morning you got to have a drink. Some people get the get the shakes. I seen an OG at the store, he used to be like this. Come on, man, I need my drink. Give me that taco vodka on the bottom. And <laughs> <laughs> That's how it used to be. He used to get a beer and a top and a taki bottom shelf. <laughs> on the bottom shelf, red top. And he used to be he used to be trying to pay for his drink like this in the morning, early in the morning, like this. And that that's that's one of the signs. You you wake up or you wake up early and drink. You might be an alcoholic. You got to watch yourself. You gonna you got alcohol poisoning. Go to um, 
Isaiah 5. Isaiah 5 in your zone. You know what I want. Yes, sir. You know what I want. Book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 11. Uh huh. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, uh -huh. that they may follow strong drink. That they may go after the, the bottle, after the strong drink. The first thing you do after your hair, you might not even brush your teeth. You might mm. <clears throat> throw a shot back and give them the face. Mm -hmm. And then go brush your teeth. Go ahead. Woe to the scriptures say destruction unto that man or woman that gets up early in the morning and take a drink. Go ahead. That continue until night. Uh, and they don't stop. They start in the morning time from when they wake up and don't in, and don't quit at night. They keep it going. Go ahead. Wow. Till wine inflame them. Until they be drunken like I wanted to say something else, but I can't say that. Let me let me get, get a drunk. Script. There you go. That's a good one. JB until they drunk as a skunk. Let go me, ahead, Mike. Let me throw something in on that. Give me give me uh give me Sirach chapter 31 and verse 25. Because what that is, is uh, a lot of people think, oh, I, I can drink. I can hang with the big dogs when it comes to drinking. Not knowing that you the one that always get drunk at the party. Mm. <laughs> you the one that always somebody got to carry you in the house. Yep. When you... <laughs> Right, go ahead. <laughs> Sirach chapter 31, verse 25. Uh-huh. Show not thy valiantness in wine. It says, show not thy valiantness in wise in wine. So, um, I'll, Soldier Lamech is doing something. I got the definition in my uh in my Bible. Okay, uh pull up uh to be valiant. To be valiant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or valiantness. There it go, right there. It says, processing or showing courage or determination. So the scripture says, show not thy determination or courage in wine. Don't be, bruh, throw me another shot. I could take it. Give, give me another shot of that. Don't do that. And you, and you, and you, and, and you, um, and you, Priding yourself in how much you can drink and thinking right. you can drink with the big dogs. He could, he drank a whole bottle. I could drink a whole bottle. No, brother. You got to know your limit, right? The scripture says, know what is evil for thee and don't give your soul unto it, right? Read on. Show not thy valiantness in wine. Uh-huh. For wine have destroyed many. Because in doing that, it will destroy you. It will, read. The furnace Proveth the edge by dipping. So what this is going to is giving an a, 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 a analogy of of a, a, a sword, right, or a piece of metal. How you prove the metal after you heat it up, you dip it in the water, right? See if it's gonna crack. You're gonna see if it's gonna uh, crack or break, or or um, if the if the if that piece of metal is good for what you're gonna use it for. After you heat it up, you dip it, right? The furnace proveth the edge by dipping. Uh huh. So does wine the heart of the proud by drunkenness. So the wine will prove your heart by drunkenness. How? Because now, now when you drink, guess what? Whatever on your mind, that's what you're going to be saying. It's coming out. That's right. Right? Um, I, I, I'll go to that scripture later on. Go ahead, Jude. Finish your talk. Uh, go to Romans 13, 13. So, so now, this, this is the point while I brought it up, right? Uh, all things are lawful, but they're not expedient, right? So you come in the truth, and you're like, "Oh snap, it's cool to drink." I seen the, I seen Shim and them at the at the new moon. They had the drink on the table, right? So now what I'm finna do? I'm finna bring what I like, and we're gonna be double fisted. I'm young in the truth. This is my first year, first couple months. I don't know what I'm doing. So when I drink, I haven't read all the scriptures that told me drink moderately. You get what I'm saying? Don't let the the don't 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 drink while the while the wine is still moving. I mean, sit it down for a minute. See how you feel. That's I don't know right. that. So me being a babe in this truth, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the elder how they get down, and I'm getting drunk, and I'm doing these things that's written in the Bible that let me know when I'm unlawful with it. You unlawful with it when you find yourself arguing with your boy, mm. peeing in the hallway, that's talking right. about talking about who you would like to screw on TV. Mm. Mm, she look good. When you, when you find yourself getting out the spirit, you done, you done turn something lawful into something unlawful as hell. That's you right. wicked as hell at this moment. That's now, right. not only with that, the Lord is all about moderation. Is it unlawful to eat steak? 
No, but it's a law in there to tell you if you don't do no, don't do nothing of excess. Don't have excess of meat because it can cause cola. So when you find yourself with diarrhea, or so on and so, you know you did too much. Even even things that's not unlawful can be harmful to you, and it can cause you to sin. So look, the Lord is all about moderation. So first and foremost, you need to you need to um, when you when you first come in year one year two, take your time, ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Um, just because you see something being done, that's why. Um, in for, uh, what is it? First Corinthians ten. They had the um, they was. It was going into, uh, I think, the sacrifice unto idols, uh, the clean meat. Mm. Uh, eight. eight, right? Uh, the clean meat. The meat was clean, but they were sacrificing it unto the idol. Now, I know, being in the truth, that that, that I don't mean nothing. But somebody knew that could vex their spirit because right. they don't have my understanding yet. So when you first come in, you don't have you don't have the understanding of the elders yet. You can't do everything you see us do. Do you get what I'm saying? And and I'm not even talking about, I'm talking about soldiers, officers getting drunk. Right. You got to check your spirit because once you cross into that threshold, you out of the spirit. You being a bad example to the people under you. You're sinning. So it's, it's important to drink moderately. Is, is it unlawful to drink wine and a strong drink? No. It's perfectly fine if you drink moderately you know you're not drinking moderately when you find yourself saying things you shouldn't say doing things you shouldn't do you get what i'm saying read uh romans 13 13 romans chapter 13 verse 13 let us walk honestly as in the day uh-huh not in rioting not in rioting that's that's partying that's partying getting loose with it read and drunkenness and drunkenness read not in chambering. Uh-huh, chambering, that goes into promiscuity. That goes into fornication, because guess what? When you went to the club, as a man, you was looking for a, a promiscuous woman to take to the house tonight. Chambering means room. Take her to the marriage chamber, though you wasn't getting married, so you was getting drunk, having parties all at the club, trying to find a chick to screw and take her to the... It's telling you don't do that. Don't behave yourself like that. We in the truth now. We cannot get down like that. That's when a lot of these backdoor marriages happen. Right. When you get when you when you get a little tipsy and you sit in the, the scripture tell you not to sit at all with uh, at the wine with a sit. Where's that at uh, Sirach nine? Let me get it because I just butchered the heck out of that. Nah, you was on point. I butchered it. Uh, give me give me Sirach nine and I'll find it. I just did the thing. <laughs> I just did the thing. Uh, give me Sirach nine. Start at nine, yeah. Start at nine. So rock chapter nine, verse nine. Uh huh. Sit not at all with another man's wife. So first and foremost, you're not supposed to be alone with another man's wife. Here go the warning for you because you think you you think you smarter than the Bible. He's like, you know what? I would never look at that sister like that. I, I wouldn't do that. The, mm. the Bible tells you don't do that. Read on. Nor sit down with her in thine arms. Don't sit down with her in your arms. That's going into comfort. Oh, what's wrong, sis? Oh, you mad at your Lord? Oh, come on. And you comforting her. You alone with her. You comforting her, Read And spend not thy money with her at the wine. Now y'all sipping wine. What's the result you think is going to happen when you're doing these things? Y'all going to start the vibe. Adultery mm -hmm. happens. Oh, sis, Adultery what happens? happens? Man, let's, let's have a little sip of wine, sis. You going through it, sis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those eyes get low, mm -hmm. and y'all get to feeling each other. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You done fell headlong into the trap. Because you're not going with the scriptures. You you being unlawful with your drinking. You're not you're not following the um the blueprint on, on what we should be doing. Go back to Sirach uh, 31 and 25. They mm -hmm. yeah, you should you yeah, you should finish that out. They unlawful with the thinking and the drinking. Mm -hmm. And because if you in Ooh, this yeah. situation right here, yeah, you already got intentions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, making provisions like crazy. You see a vulnerable sister, and you and you swooping down like a uh, like a hawk on his prey. Mm -hmm. You already you already got it in your mind that this is about to happen. Read, finish reading that off of Judah. Sirach chapter nine verse nine. Sit not at all with another man's wife. Don't do that. Don't be alone with another man's wife. Read. Nor sit down with her in thine arms. Don't be comforting that woman. Same thing with the woman. Don't be comforting, comforting another woman's uh, husband. Read. 
and spend not thy money with her at the wine. Y'all don't be sitting around drinking together, Reed. Lest thine heart incline unto her. Her heart is the mind. Incline mean y'all start to attract, meaning y'all start to vibe because of this thing. You probably wouldn't vibe when you were sober, but you guys are, you guys are faded right now. Mm. And the body has taken over. Now those values start to lower, huh? The values start to lower. And you get to vibing with one another, Reed. And so, through thy desire, uh -huh. thou fall into destruction. You fall into destruction. Adultery happens and it's a wrap for you. It's a wrap for you. That's one of them things that the Lord don't play with is adultery. That's one of them things that scare me. The Lord don't play with adultery. And you probably not had adultery on your mind, but the unlawful drinking... And spending time with another man's wife caused you to commit adultery. That's why I say all things are lawful for me, but not expedient. Yeah. If, if it get this far, that's what was on your mind. Jump up a verse. Mm. Start at read verse 8. Verse 8. Yeah. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful he said, woman. He say, don't be... Turn your, way, oh, your eye from a beautiful sister. Mm -hmm. that, that She may be married. Don't look at her like that. Go ahead. And look not upon another's beauty. And don't be looking up on that man's one, that man's beauty. That's his beauty. That's right. Leave his beauty alone. Mm -hmm. Go get your own. Read. <laughs> for many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. You say, for many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. Now you you act you and you making it making her believe that you coming to comfort her, but all alone, you got adultery on the brain. Yes, That's sir. right. You and got she that. got it too. She got it too at the same both both of us is, is wicked as hell in this verse. Yeah, because what 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 point do you need to be with anybody alone? Right. Amen. I wouldn't give a damn what what did he or she done did to you. You shouldn't be alone. It's brothers and sisters that ain't married shouldn't be alone together because this type of stuff that, breaks out. Or that is married, Shim. That or that is, is or ain't married. You shouldn't be alone with nobody. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, like how we talking about wine. You know what I'm saying? Really, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you straight. I ain't never. I we ain't never been in the same room in the truth uh, with women drinking anyway. No. So that that's all the way out the window. Men drink with the men. Yes. If the women is drinking, they then the Lord they drinking wine <laughs> they they or they drinking the with the Lord, Lord. And they, and then the Lord can kind of see how much to put on the table and you know right. and monitor things. Right. Read on. Verse 8. There's wine coolers for you. For herewith, love is kindled as a fire. He said, your love or lust going to be kindled as a fire. And when that thing light, and when that fire ignite and that switch come on, come on. Put it out. Sit not at all with another man's wife. Come on. Nor sit down with her in thine arms. Uh, that's, when the, that, that's when the flame is on. When you sitting down with her in, her, in your arms. And now, uh, and after you got her in your arms and you chilling, you that third hand come out and uh -oh. grab the grab the water, the wine, and the strong drink. You like where this come from? Must be like this on the couch. Must yep. be like, voila. Oh. Yep, voila. It done <laughs> popped out of nowhere. Now y'all drinking and at the wine and all hell done broke loose. Wow. You done destroy somebody's family. And your own at the same time. That's what the first scripture we read was Sirach 19 and 2. Wine and women. These things go together like peanut butter and jelly. And hey, you, know, you know what else go together? Wine and women definitely go together, mm -hmm. right? But watch this. Get, um, get Proverbs 23 again and get verse 20. Proverbs 23 and verse 20. Watch this. Because, yes, wine and women go together, right? And guess what else go with that? Go ahead. Yeah, 23 and verse 20. Proverb chapter 23, verse 20. Uh-huh. Be not amongst wine bibbers. Uh-huh. Amongst riotous eaters of flesh. Now, you, now you're a riotous eater of flesh. Now you eating too. Not only is you overindulging in wine and alcohol, but now you get now because your your uh, inhibitions is lowered, your values, your standards are lowered. Now you overeating in flesh. Now you eating two, three, four, five burgers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Read on. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty. The drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty because you you gonna drink too much. Now you gonna eat too much, right? Read on. And drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Now you now you hung over. You can't go to work. 
you can you so hung over every day you can't go to work you can't work you get fired you you waking up you ain't got the same standards uh, uh, uh of how to dress yourself keep yourself groomed it says drowsiness shall clothe the man with rags because you drink too much now your standards is lowered right that's all damn go ahead you I knew you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Proverbs um, or Sirach 31. We're going to read it down. We're gonna read, well, let's read how to drink again. Let's read it. Now Now we know we're not supposed to uh, do it with excess. Let's, let's read how the Bible tells us we should drink. Sirach chapter 31, verse 27. Uh-huh. Wine is as good as life to a man. Start at 25. Verse 25. Uh-huh. Show not thy valiantness in wine. So don't be brave. Don't have beer muscles. Don't be trying to... You ain't, you ain't, you ain't Superman just because you had a drink. You can be hurt, right? Read on. For wine have destroyed many. Wine have destroyed many people, many lives. People go into uh, alcoholism, destroy families. AA, AA, AA meetings. Yep. And the doctor, liver problems, so on That's and right. so forth. Read on. The furnace proveth the edge by dipping. Uh-huh. So does wine the heart of the proud by drunkenness. Uh-huh. So when you get drunk, the, the, the heart of the proud going to be seen. You ain't going to be able to hold your, the, ain't no bar on your mouth no more. So all that proud stuff that's in your mind that you have not defeated, you're going to say it, you're going to do it. Read. Wine is as good as life to a man. But on the other hand, he said, don't, don't get me wrong. Wine is as good as life to a man. Read. If. Two letter word with a big meaning. If. Wine is good as life to a man. If, read, if it be drunk moderately, if you drink it a little, a little by little, not a whole, uh, you, you over there taking double shots, triple shots, music going and you ain't measuring it at all. You just going for it. Read what life is then to a man that is without wine. What good, like what, what kind of life you living if you don't have a sip or two here or there to, to, uh, to, to break tension, to break the ice. To have a good time. You right. know what I'm saying? You don't need to be drunk to do that. Read. For it was made to make men glad. The purpose of wine is to make you mad. But glad. when you drink or glad. Or, or, or glad, excuse me. <laughs> the purpose of wine is to make you glad. But when you drink it too much, you overindulge. There's side effects to it. Right? The purpose of meat is to sustain your body. But if you overeat it, there's side effects to it. You get what I'm saying? God is all about moderation. Read. Wine, measurably drunk, measurably drunk, and meaning you know your limit, right? You take your time. You say, you know what? You might want me to have another cup, but I know my limit, and I, I, it might be this much left in my cup. But I know if I drink that last bit, I'll go overboard. So I'll leave that. I'll leave that little bit right there. Even though you could drink it, I know me. You get what I'm saying? So I'll leave that little bit right there. You got to measure your wine. And, read on. Wine measurably drunk. Uh-huh. And in season. And in season, meaning uh, you got you got winter, spring, uh, fall, uh, uh, winter, right? Those are all different times. So guess what? Wine measurably drunken and in season, meaning at the right time. We just read early in the morning in Isaiah, uh, what was it? Isaiah 5, Isaiah 5 uh, 11. I, um, right early in the morning ain't the right season. That's not the right time to be drinking. You're not supposed to do that. Read wine measurably drunk and in season and within the, in the right time, maybe at a, uh, at a, at a, at a new moon or, or, uh, at a, at a dedication of a house opening and you have a little bit break the ice, right? That's a good season to do so. Not right before work, not right before you judge a matter at the school. Right. You get what I'm saying? That's not the right season to be drinking. Read. Bringeth gladness of the heart. If you do it at the right time in the right season, measurably drunken, everybody smiling, having a good time, good vibes, no worries, read. And cheerfulness of the mind. You have cheerfulness of the mind, read. But, but means on the other hand, so first and foremost, it said, don't be valiant at the wine, but it's good to drink it moderately. But after that, Read on. But wine drunken with excess. Wine drunken with excess meaning you go overboard. You don't measure it. You just go for it. Right? Read on. Make it bitterness of the mind. It make bitterness of the mind. Bitter is talking about things that happened in the past. Things that happened in your past is creeping up in your mind. Somebody disrespected you a long time ago when they said, uh, what you doing? And then my brother asked me what I'm doing. I was like, what you mean what I'm doing? Because something that happened in my past, I heard that in my past, it triggered something. And now I'm getting ready to thump with my boy, read. With brawling. With what? Brawling. That's an all-out chunk em. 
brawling. We out here brawling somebody that you love. You guys are, you guys are fighting because of because of some bitterness. And you say something to a drunk person. What you mean by that, huh? Huh? You're like, man, I'm not even. That's not what I meant. The Lord is telling you how to get down with your wine, with your strong drinks. Read Br- with brawling uh-huh. and quarreling. Uh huh. And quarreling is arguing. You into it. It's it's a, it's a situation going on. Read drunkenness. Uh huh. Increaseth the rage of a fool. You a fool if when you get drunk. You get you 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 that angry drunk. You an angry drunk. I know I used to be a, a goofy drunk. I'd be laughing and giggling all over the place. But some people they drink and they want to fight in a club. Mm. They they start a fight right there with like, with the nearest person to them. Yeah, I'll knock you. And they get put to sleep. Out. <laughs> That's why I tell you don't be valiant it's in the so, wine. You so vulnerable when you drunk trying to fight somebody. Mm-hmm. You 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 slower than you think, but you feel <laughs> invincible. And right? the next verse, the next verse gonna tell you. Uh huh. Read right. on. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool. Uh huh. Till he offends. And now he into it with somebody. Read. It diminishes strength. You feel strong as Superman. But you're not strong at all. You right. I'm about to say it right now. <laughs> Read on. And maketh wounds. It get your ass wound, beat. You leaking all over the place. <laughs> right. You get what I'm saying? Read on. Rebuke not thy neighbor at the wine. Now, guess what? You got a friend. You got a friend that's drunk at the wine at the time, right? It say don't rebuke him at the wine. Read. And despise him not in his mirth. Because he over happy, a little drunk, right? Read on. Give him no despiteful words. Don't give him despiteful words, read. And press not upon him with, with urging him to drink. And drink, don't... drink, 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 drink. All right. Don't you get what more. I'm saying? Because guess what? When you're giving him them despiteful words, he's drunk. He's going to get bitterness of mind. He's going to start to quarrel with you. want to brawl with you. You get what I'm saying? So it's the time. It's a time and place to do everything, right? And that's also saying knowing what, what no, not, I mean, know when not to give him more. That's right. That's and don't right. urge him to drink. Don't, don't don't push him off the edge. You want another shot? And he already stoned. One more, man. Come on, one more, just right. a little bit. That that it caused the the person to do that type of stuff a fool because you really um, don't follow the world map how you are supposed to. Right. The scriptures say you got to know the state of the flock. Mm-hmm. So if you know how you gonna know if somebody got a drinking problem or not if you're not around them. And then the first time you, the first couple of times you're around them, y'all drinking a whole bunch. Right. You got, we got to, we got to use wisdom uh, and have understanding when doing this type of stuff, man. Can I, can I get a scripture? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the, scri- the scripture, uh, verse 28 said, wine drunken measurably and in season. I want to touch that in season, right? Get Proverbs chapter uh, 30 and verse 6. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 6. Because there is a season, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, how many of us in captivity? How many of y'all in captivity? Raise your hand. Okay, all praise. How many of y'all go to work and be stressed out? Mm-hmm. Man, look at here. Kids running around. You want to do something to them, right? <laughs> Read that. 31 and verse uh, 6. My bad. Proverbs 31 and verse 6. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 6. Uh huh. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish. The scriptures say, give strong, t- strength, dr- strong drink to him that is ready to perish, right? Somebody that's, uh, you, they know, they, they know they, they know they sick, they know they about to die. Not somebody that have a sickness from drinking, but you know, they sick, they about to die. You can have a drink with that brother. He, he had he he's in his sorrow. His body's failing him. Go ahead. And wine unto those that be of heavy heart. And wine to those that be of heavy hearts. You might be going through something. You know what I'm saying? You might be. It's of course it has to be drunk measurably, but wine is to make somebody merry. So why not give them a? Hey, let's let's sit down and have a drink. Let's talk about it. Yeah. You know, read. Let him drink 
and forget his poverty. It says, let him drink and forget what he going through. Forget your poverty. Read. And remember his misery no more. Because the wine is supposed to make you glad. So when drinking wine in your, in, the, in your season, right? Let's say you come home from work. You had a bad day at work. I tell my wife all the time, man, give me a shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and grab me a beer and, and some I'm about, silence. And some silence. <laughs> put the kids in their room. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I want to forget about what happened today. So um, there's always a season on uh, when to drink wine, right? Uh, another one. What is uh, that? Before you leave that, before you leave that, go, go up ahead. to verse um, four. Verse four. Uh huh. It is not for kings. O Lemuel. So this is mother talking. He said, it's not for kings, O Lemuel, read. It is not for kings to drink wine. Uh-huh. So now it's telling you when it's not a season. When it's not a season, the king ain't supposed to be drinking wine. It's going to tell you why, read. Nor for princes strong drink. Uh-huh. Why? Because they judge matters. I'll show you in verse 5. Here it come. Lest they drink. Because if they do drink, read. And forget the law. They'll forget the law in their drunkenness, read. And pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Now they'll start to pervert judgment. So mm. when I'm giving counsel as a king or a prince, I'm not to drink because I might be partial to one party or another, right? It'll pervert my judgment. So it's not the season to be drinking when you when you're there to teach a class. You know what I'm saying? You you That's feeding right. the flock, you judging the matter. You shouldn't be drunk when you're doing those things. You shouldn't be drinking wine at all you or be strong drunk drink at, at all. all. <laughs> When you when you when you judging matters, it say right. uh, it'll pervert the judgment. Now now you got people uh, miss uh, giving false reports and stuff of incidents that happen. That's right. Instead of telling the truth in your in, 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 in your judgment and telling the truth, you you make everything go to waste because you don't you you don't you don't uh, put the right judgment on the situation. Go to, uh, he said it's a season, right? Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. When is the season to drink? 10 and 19 and 20. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. A feast is made for laughter. Uh-huh. And wine maketh merry. And what maketh merry? And wine maketh merry. So in the feast days... Have you a drink? Be merry. Don't get drunk. But you can be okay. merry at a feast yep. day. Have, that's the season to do it. When it's time to have fun. Go ahead. But money answereth all things. Right. That, all I wanted was the top part. Okay. I'm going to get uh, Sirach 40 in verse 20. Sirach 40 in verse 20. Read that. Sirach chapter 40, verse 20. Uh-huh. Wine and music. Rejoice the heart. It says wine and music rejoices the heart. So when we had a feast day, turn on some music, DJ, and uh and, and and crack open some wine so we can so we can have some fun. You know, we didn't had a long week. Oh, a lot of y'all done had a long week, and we come to the feast days to enjoy each other. So that's what we do, right? Go ahead. But the love of wisdom is above them both. But you gotta have wisdom when doing so. Mm. Know when to put that cup down. No one to put that bottle down, right? Jump over to uh, chapter 32 and verse 1. Actually, uh, ver yeah, verse 1. Sirach chapter 32, verse 1. Mm -hmm. If thou be made the master of the feast. If thou be made the master of the feast. Let's say you hosting the feast day at your house, right? Or you host, or you the leader and you hosting the feast day at the school, read. Lift not thyself up, uh -huh. but be among them as one of the rest. Right, read on. Take diligent care for them, and so sit down. Make sure everybody eat. Make sure everybody enjoying themselves. Make sure everybody not having too much to drink. Make sure uh, there's enough food for the feast, right? Take care of them, and then sit down, read. And when thou has done all thy office, and when you done done all that, you make sure everybody is taken care of, the feast is being ran how it's supposed to be ran, read. Take thy place that thou mayest be merry with them. That thou mayest be what? Merry with them. What's going to make you merry? Sit down, have a drink of wine. Let's chill. Let's talk. Turn on the music, right? Sit down and be merry with the other people that you have it, that you hosting the feast for, read. Right? 
and receive a crown for thy well ordering of the feast. Now people are going to be like, man, I love the way uh, such and such held that feast at his house, man. That was the food was good. We had wine. We we had fun. We talked all those things. Right. So uh, go to. Um, actually, that's all I got. Go ahead. Verse five. I didn't get down to verse five. Go to go to uh, go to verse five. Sirach thirty two and five. There's some more good stuff on there. Sirach yeah, chapter thirty two, verse five. Uh huh. A consort of music. Uh huh. In a in a banquet of wine. Uh huh. Is as a signet. There you go. Go ahead. Is as a signet of carbuncle set in gold. Uh huh. That's like a fine jewel. Wine That's and right. music they go together. Read as a signet. Of an emirate set in a work of gold. Uh huh. Another fine jewel. Read. So is the melody of music with pleasant wine. So that's what you see on the feast days. You see experienced men up here having a little bit of arbor mist or some crown royal <laughs> arbor mist. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? The music song we listening to some Deacon Abiel. You know what I'm saying? And we doing things lawfully. You get what I'm saying? Wine. So you're not seeing anything. Uh, and, and remember, when I first came in, I thought it was a sin to drink. Yeah. I thought it, but now when I when I when I um my understanding came, it's like, oh, I go through the scriptures, it's it's perfectly fine to drink wine. Hey, now, I, I thought it was a sin to do. I thought it was a sin to cuss. I thought it was a sin to drink. Yeah. I would only drink a little bit of wine because I'm like, all right, Christ drunk wine. I could do I could do that. Yeah. But I thought it was a sin too. And I wouldn't touch no strong drink. No, well, me neither. You, you know what I'm saying? But right. now your understanding come, you can you uh if if that's your thing, you can abuse it. You can abuse it and end up falling into sin with something that's un unlawful. Or or something that is lawful. You can it can take you into sin. Oh, that's what that's what it's for sure gonna do. Right. It's gonna do that to you for the for damn sure. Mm-hmm. It say everybody that tarry long get that thing, they fall, man. Right. That's what the scriptures say. It say uh it's it's a mocker. To them that overuses it, man. Mm. You go to, don't uh, fall into something. You got something to you? You about to go to something? Yeah, go to Titus 2 and 2. Some easy work, right? Titus chapter 2, verse 2. Uh-huh. That the aged men be sober. That the aged men be sober. So aged men, grown adult men, supposed to be sober. Sober, not drunk. Right? Not high, read. Grave. Uh-huh. Serious. Temperate. Uh-huh. So you're not playing all the time. That's what that's what uh seri- or grave means. You and temperate means you you're not quick to flash. You're not uh your 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 attitude is balanced. You're not a you're not a lion. I don't know what's gonna set you up. You gotta be temperate, right? People you easy to talk to, read. Sound in faith. Sound in faith and, and faith go faith without works is dead, meaning you putting in the work. You get what I'm saying? You got to be sound in faith, read. In charity. Charity going to how you treat your brothers and sisters. Charity, envy if not. It don't vault itself up. Read on. In patience. And you got to be patient, sober, charity, patience, read. The aged woman likewise. Now it's saying just just like the aged man need to be sober, the aged woman the same way. That's what likewise means. Saying the aged woman the same way as the man, read. That they in be that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Uh huh. Have have holy behavior, right? And the things that make us holy is these laws. Meaning they they steadfast in this word. Read. Not false accusers. Not gossipers. Not lying on each other. Not running their mouth all the time. Read. Not given to much wine. Sober, just like the man. Read. Teachers of good things. The law is good, right and spiritual. Right. They're teaching the laws to the children. Read. That they may teach the young women uh-huh. to be sober. The main, the main way you teach is with your action. You teach with your mouth and with your action. So they're looking at the older woman. And, and, and if you see auntie drinking all the time, mama drinking all the time, guess what the daughter's going to do? She's going to grow up and can't wait to have a drink like mama. Can't, ha- can't wait to get drunk like A.T. So it's say that they may teach the young women to be sober. That's something that needs to be taught. Read. To love their husband. Uh Uh-huh. To love their children. Uh Uh-huh. You need to be taught how to love your husband. You need to be taught how to love your children. You need to be taught how to be sober. Read. To be discreet. You need to be taught how to be discreet because the TV's not teaching us. Society's not teaching us. It's not being learned in each of our households. We have to relearn it, be born again, and learn it in this Bible. 
Right? Read on. Chaste. Uh-huh. Chaste means um, uh, not pr- promiscuous. Right? You you reserve. You're not showing cleavage. You're not showing your shape. Read. Keepers at home. Uh-huh. Learning how to how to guide the house. A good cleaner at the house. Um, keeping the kids in order. Bedtimes, dinners, and so on and so forth. Read. Good. Uh-huh. O- obedient to their own husband. That needs to be taught. And the only way that can you can learn it is through the Bible. Read that the word of God be not blasphemed. Verse six. Young men likewise. So it went to the grown men, right? Then it went to the woman, and then it said to the young man the same way. Read, young men likewise exhort to be sober minded. Doing what? To be sober minded. So guess what? As you a young teenager, and and that's when we that's when we make the most mistakes on the planet is when we about. 16 to 19, we do the dumbest stuff in the world, right? It tells you to be, you young men and young women, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So the whole time, God is telling us to be sober, be sober, be sober. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot use our wine with excess. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Go to, go to Sirach 38 and 15. So rock chapter 38, verse 15. Uh-huh. There's side effects. Here we go. He that sinned before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. So if you overdrink, if you overdrink over time, what happens? It said you're going to fall into the hand of the physician. And guess what you're going to be going to the doctor for? A bad liver. You get what I'm saying? You can't drink no more. Doctor's orders. Now you can't drink. You know what I'm saying? And then by this time, some people can't, they can't help it and they just drink themselves into the grave. You get what I'm saying? Read on. My son, let tears fall down over the dead uh-huh. and begin to lament as if thou hadst suffered great harm thyself. That's all I want to go to Sirach um, 30 and 15. Sirach chapter 30, verse 15. Health and good state of body are above all gold. Uh huh. Health and good state of body is above all gold, right? So you don't want to drink yourself into a to a to a shriveled up liver, read. And a strong body above infinite wealth. Uh huh. It's teaching you how to keep your body strong, how to keep it healthy, right? A little bit of wine is good. Even in a car, if you over if you over uh, fill it with oil, that's bad. If you don't have no oil, that's bad. If you have too much oil, that's bad. You know what I'm saying? If you if you put too much water in your body, you can kill yourself. Absolutely. Let me pull that pull it up for me. Let us see. That's a shame because uh, the thing is, the people people will follow the instructions on how to keep their car running well to a T, mm. to a T. But when it comes to your own body, the vehicle of your soul, you will not. Watch this. Read that right there, Dave. The top part of it. When you drink too much water, uh huh, you may experience water poison. You see that the thing that you think is good for your body the most, water. It say you can you can experience water poisoning. That's why the most I say do everything in moderation, right. not just not just drinking, eating, uh, eating, drinking water, everything. Go ahead, water poisoning, intoxication, uh huh, or. A disruption of brain function. What could if you overindulge in water, it can mess with your, the way that your brain works. Right. Read. This happens when there's too much water in the cells, including brain cells, uh huh, causing them to swell. When the cells in the brain swell, they cause pressure in the brain. You see that? So you can you can even be doing drinking water too much. And it'll tear you up. It'll mess. It'll mess you up. Some. It, it can even give you hypothermia. I got another one right here. Let me read it. It says, "When when you drink too much water, your kidneys can get can't get rid of the excess water. Dang. The sodium uh, c- content of your blood becomes diluted." This is called hypothermia, and it can be life-threatening. Meaning you need a little sodium in your blood. Exactly. Meaning salt. Um, don't, get, don't go to playing with the most high. Can I, can I get a scripture? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, let me get 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 23. 1 
1 Corinthians 5, 23, because, yes, drinking anything could be bad for you, right? And we know we all know water has its uh, health benefits. We all know uh, 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 eating certain foods has its health benefits. But wine also has its health benefits, according to the Bible. Read. What you want? First, Timothy. Did I, what did I say? Did I say Corinthians? I said Corinthians, huh? First Timothy chapter 5, 23. The book of First Timothy chapter 5, verse 23. Drink no longer water. It says drink no longer water, read. But use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. So don't be overindulging in water. You got to drink some wine for your stomach's sake, right? Wine is good for your stomach. It's good for your blood. Some wines are good for brain cells, right? So wine, right? So wine has... Uh, benefits, it's benefits for the body, right? So, um, let me get, uh, first Corinthians chapter seven, verse 31. So we gotta, we gotta be, we gotta know, um, what's good for us and use it for those things. Use it to, to benefit, to benefit us in the ways that we need them for. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter seven, verse 31. Uh Uh-huh. And they that use this world as not abusing it. So they that use the use this world as not abusing it. You can use the things in this world, but don't overindulge. Don't uh, drink in excess. Don't eat in excess. Don't drink water in excess. You got to use the things in this world and don't abuse it. Right. Read on. For the fashion of this world passeth away. So why does it say the fashion of this world passes away? Because in the fashion of this world, it's cool to drink too much. It's cool to smoke weed. It's cool to to overeat and what they got. Uh, they got they had a, a Edomite on on uh, social media. He ate nothing but meat for months. I think it was for like a year or so, and he died. He was he was famous for going to the restaurants and eating big steaks. And I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think he he died. He he was eating big steaks and he wouldn't eat nothing but meat. And he died because he was doing it in excess, right? Um, go ahead, too. So I'm a, let's close it out with Tobit 4 and 15, and then we'll open it up for questions. Tobit 4 and 15. Book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 15. Do that to no man which thou hatest. Uh-huh. Drink not wine to make thee drunken. So don't drink it to make you drunk. That's the that's the message of the day, man. When you when you find yourself um, just because it's lawful, it's not expedient. That, so it, some of us don't need to drink at all. Some of y'all don't need to put your lips to a glass of wine. That's right. And you got to know your own self first and foremost. And when your leadership take the bottle out your hand, or not even your leadership, but but your uh, your friend. Your sister, your brother, take the bottle at your hand and say, hey, you you, you getting kind of out the spirit with your drinking. You're not drinking according to the law. You get what I'm saying? That's when it's time to humble yourself down and, and, and stop. And if you find yourself a little bit over the limit, don't say nothing. Don't open your mouth at all because you're probably going to offend. If you find yourself and you, and you overdid it, it's time to go home. That's right. It's time to go home. You even got to use wisdom with taking it out of the people's hands because, like it says, when you rebuke not the, him at the wine. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, sit down for a minute. Right. Sit down for a minute right here, right here. And, and, and use wisdom like, hey, hey, sit down real quick. Hey, put that down real quick. Let's, let's, let's talk real, and start talking about something and have somebody take that cup away. Hey, hey, take his cup, man. Right. Take his cup on and pour that out. Take his he don't need too. no more. Take you know home. what I'm saying? Because somebody, because 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 somebody can get out the spirit and mess up the whole feast, mess up the whole feast. We done cussed everybody out. We didn't have yeah. that before. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Judah. Yeah. Um, the scripture, the scripture you put earlier when it said uh, about wine and music, but it said uh, it said the desire of wisdom is above them both. That's First Ezra. I was at uh. I was at my house and 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 it was some some leadership at my house, yeah. you know. And uh, he t- we was drinking and he told me he used wisdom. He said, "Hey, after this drink, no matter what I say, 
don't let me drink no more. Mm. I'm like, you want me to tell you not to drink no more? You know, he was much higher ranked than me, right? Yeah. So I, I, he like, yes, after this drink, no matter what I say, don't let me drink no more. I said, all right. Mm -hmm. And time went by. We laughing, and having a good time. And he like, let me see that bottle. <laughs> and I'm like, now look. You told me not to let you drink no more. Yeah. He like, I told you that. I got everything. I said, yeah, you did. You said no matter what you say, don't let you drink no more. And he was like, if I told you that, then don't let me drink no more. He, you know, he, <laughs> but he made that provision first yeah. before, he, before he got to a point where he wasn't going to remember it. Yeah. And he used wisdom. And I'll never forget that. All praise. So start filling his pockets like, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, you said that, right. man. But uh, one more thing before we go, man. We talking about uh being drunk with access, a strong drink of wine, but some of y'all be drunk with Babylon too, man. Ooh. And you can see it. Yeah. But I'm gonna leave that right there because I wanna I'm gonna just you you chew that's the a, cut on that and we can come back to that. That's a whole other topic, class. man. A whole but, uh, other also class. also another way you can use wisdom, I just wanna throw this in there. Uh, get the brother or the sisters some water mm -hmm. and get them something That's to right. eat. Yeah. That will bring them back to, that would kind of level them out, right? All right. Yeah, that, that'll kind of level them out. Yeah. That's good. That's, That's right. right. All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.